For the past 15 years, the Yas Marina circuit has played host to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, one of the most anticipated events on the Formula One calendar. But last month, drivers were replaced by artificial intelligence as eight university teams from around the world came head to head in the Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League, the first of its kind in the region. We believe that there's a potential in autonomous robotics and AI to combine these with the average driver in order to bring about greater safety on our roads. We thought the best way to do it is demonstrate its capability in the most extreme conditions you can, the fastest one design race car in the world. Each team races using identical super formula cars. What sets them apart is the coding, software algorithms that allow these vehicles to travel autonomously on the track. For a team of race engineers, world-class robotics researchers and scientists bringing all of their expertise to get this car to go at high speed around the track without crashing. It's a very difficult thing. Every day you're fighting for time, fighting to keep your car where it can still run on the track. It's just a thrill. It's literally like a playground for AI. From understanding grip levels to predicting opponent movements, AI will gradually learn to replicate the mind of a racing driver. But could it change the future of motorsports? How do these Formula One drivers, or at least ones that you've talked to, feel about this? Just because it's a machine doesn't mean there aren't human elements in it. We're not trying to get rid of drivers. We would always want the gladiatorial contest of the driver. We're bringing an extra dimension into this. Remember, it's people that are doing the programming here.